Good morning, 47. Our Providence contact has shared the identity of the Shadow Client, a former mercenary and bodyguard by the name of Lucas Gray. His past is a black void, but our analysts are digging deep. Meanwhile, we've had a breakthrough of our own. Comparing the malicious attack patterns with global shipping and transportation routes, we've figured out how Mr. Gray and his paramilitaries move around the world undetected. They're using the distribution network of the Delgado Cartel, Colombia's biggest drug manufacturer. Clearly, Gray must have struck a deal with the Delgados. Consequently, if we can cripple the cartel, we can severely limit the malicious strike range. But to do so, we need to slay a three-headed serpent. Sociopathic cartel head Rico Delgado and his two closest lieutenants, PR guru Andrea Martinez and savant chemist Jorge Franco. With equal parts guts and guile, Rico Delgado runs a thriving billion-dollar criminal empire. The word is, the brutal and volatile cartel head is hell-bent on becoming the number one drug lord in the world. To achieve this, Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision makers, paving the way for an expansion of the Delgado logistics network, while the brilliant but aloof and antisocial Franco has been hard at work developing a new type of super cocaine. So, three of Colombia's most infamous crime lords inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colombia, 47. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed Sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47. I mean, he's only the biggest celebrity tattoo artist in the world. Maybe he's here to see that Delgado guy we've been hearing about? Sounds like he's got money to spare. So, P-Power, celebrity tattooist of Tattoo Torment fame, has come to Santa Fortuna. Presumably to work his magic on Rico Delgado, a known ink enthusiast. Sounds like an invitation to the mansion, 47. Are you feeling expressive? Ooh, could be. <gasps> Lucky guy. I wish I could afford one of his pieces. Ah, uh, his work isn't that impressive. <laughs> Did you see the poster? Rico Delgado coming down to us. That 
is P Power. Real name, Paul Powers. Celebrity tattoo artist and reality TV star. No, no, no. No. Hey, lady, I'm trying to make a phone call here. Buzz off, will you? Just buzz. Dexy, it's me again. I think this drug lord is gonna kill me. If I mess up, he's going to kill me. You have to help me here. Call me ASAP. Oi. Are you okay? Look like you're wearing a fever or something. Fine, I just need to pull off here. All right. Let me know if you need anything cold to drink, parce. Mate, I'm telling you, I've been in some crazy shit before, but this takes the cake. Uh huh. You know where I'm supposed to be right now? The Delgado Mansion. Just knock on the front gate, they said. And then what? Walk in and tattoo the world's most notorious cartel boss. I can see how that's not easy. I heard he kills people. Just for fun. Imagine what he'd do to me if I messed up. Well, sure, he's dangerous. But it's his wife you need to look out for, caballero. I'm a dead man. Yeah, Dexy, it's me. Look, I'm in real trouble here. Yeah, call me back, all right? Dexy is... Dexy! Dexy! Hey, man! Damn it, can you hear? Oh, this damn music! Dexy, hang on, I'm heading outside. You have to get me the hell out of here. I'm stuck in some tequila bar in the middle of nowhere. I can't get out. Dexy, send help. No. Power guy? Hang on, man. I hope you don't mind, but we need to freeze you. If you want to come through, I gotta punch you down. Understand me? You're entering the lion's den, 47. Tread nah, carefully. Senor, you're probably Practically you're everyone here is dangerous, man, no, no. not least Rico Delgado himself. All right, You're Mr. Power. To go. Bongale, Follow bongale. me to the house. Mrs. Delgado wanted to meet you. She's a big fan. She'll take you to Rico afterwards. Uh, there's celebrity tattoo guys here. My sister got a tattoo once. It was supposed to be a tribute to her son, but the guy fucked it up. The big Gustavo ended up looking like a tattoo macabra. When my brother-in-law saw the tattoo, he went down to the guy's house. Shot him dead. Which was kind of dumb because he was the only that one this around for a hundred miles. That's quite a story. You bet. Oh my god! Oh, it's really you, Pipawa. 
It's such an honor to meet you. I just love your show. That episode where you tattoo the heart on the arm of the dead dying policeman while they're administrating CPR, <laughs> it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. A great moment. I cherish the memory to this day. Oh, see. So, Rico has this tattoo on his neck, and he insists it's supposed to be based on a photo of me. I'm not a fool, Mr. Powers. My nose never looked like that, not even before the operation. And sure, I've had a few ticks done here and there, but nothing as drastic as that. I want you to make it look like me, not some young skank. I'll do my very best, Mrs. Delgado. Ah, oh, Chico, let me just grab a quick selfie with you, all right? Sure, why not? Yay! <laughs> just look this way. Oh, can see, wow, we look so good together. This is great. So far, so good, 47. Now to leave your mark on Mr. Delgado. So, this is the famous P. Power, tattoo artist to the stars. Huh. You don't exactly look like you do on TV, do you? There's something different about you. Cariño, don't insult our guest. He's obviously not been sitting in a stylist chair for days, but this is tea power. Who else would it be? Well, what about those cheekbones? The guy on TV didn't have cheekbones like that. Hey, Rico, enough. You know they fix all that in post-production. Just let the man work. Okay, fine. Whatever you say. Okay, I'm ready. Let's get this thing fixed. Stop doing that! I'm just grabbing a few shots for the socials. Relax, Rico. I find your constant photography very annoying, dear. What's the problem? You don't even have to do anything. Whoa, hey, Rico, don't worry. I've got this under control. Hey, the two guy. I'm watching you. One wrong move, we'll have us You hear me? I need you to calm down a bit, Jose. Better safe than sorry, boss. You're taking it too far, Jose. No guns. No, 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 no. I'm not willing to take any risks here, Hefe. So what are we waiting for, huh? I'm here, I'm ready. Get on with it. Hey, relax, Jose. We're fine. Just doing what's necessary, Rico. Jermaine. You need to keep still, Mr. Delgado. I wouldn't want to stab you by accident. You heard the man, Catalina. Leave us now. Fine. Have it your way. But that tattoo better look exactly like me when you're done with your new BFF, Rico. Hey, listen, you're taking this new bodyguard job a little too seriously, Jose. Just making sure the script doesn't try anything funny. Hey, I need you to stand down. Stop waving that thing around. Afraid I can't do that, Patron. This person might get the jump on us. Hey, Jose, I need you to leave us alone now. You're too wound up right now. You understand? All right, boss, all right. But I'll be back in a little while if I don't hear from you, Guayuan. Oh, finally. So peace and quiet. Can I finish my work now? <laughs> do what you do best, man. You got it. Rico Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done.
you hear Javier stole the love letter Hector Delgado wrote for Martinez? I have to jump out of a window before... Do you mind? Just keep walking. Did you hear Javier stole the love letter Hector Delgado wrote for Martinez? I have to jump out of a window before Hector discovered him. I think he hurt his leg in the process. Yeah, I heard. He even passed the letter around the basement bar at the park last night. Weird to think Hector and Martinez used to be an item. I mean, he's bad shape, crazy. She's so hyper luxurious. She can't even stand to be in her village mansion for too long. Talk about an old couple. Yeah, I love to see her face if she ever found a letter, though. Rumor has it, she hates it. That's my impression as well. That's huh. Rico Delgado's brother Hector is trying to win back his old flame, Andrea Martinez. Apparently, Hector has authored a rather slushy love letter. For one of the Sicarios foolhardily stole it from Hector's room during last night's party. Hector, he's still crazy about it. I'm not seeing shit here. I just got here. Nothing to report. Your eyes open. We have to leave no. now. We have, we have a bad situation. Me and I are arriving. Juice with batteries soaking in it. Just this liquid with this funny taste. You're right, it's not great. Right? Damn. With all Just tired. To you, I'm impressed.
Oh, we've course been acting on. Not at all, we've course been acting on. I have a letter Sir, from Miss this Martinez. This is in a restricted area. Is that from Hector? That looks like his handwriting. I'm under strict orders to keep anything from Hector away from her. I'm just Someone a mess. Someone needs to clean up this well, mess. I'm not I don't opening want anything that to do with that moronic Hector, no matter how many flowers or boxes of chocolates he sends me. You that is Andrea Martinez. Miss Martinez. The Delgado no cartel I have this for you. Is that Hector's handwriting? I don't know, miss. I'd recognize that junked up scrawl anywhere. I don't want anything from that bum. Yo, the toilet smells like shit. Literally. I, I'm not saying it was me, but... Like I suggested, everything will solve itself eventually, Miss Martinez. All right, time for a call, Paula. Let's go to the meeting room downstairs. Yes, ma'am. Done 47. This should be good. just some pitiful cry for help or some shit like that. Let's just read it and get it over with. Ah, oh, to hell with it. Let's see what that fool has to tell me.
Martinez is down. Good work. Chaps, chop, chop. with you, drop them now. <laughs> we gotta frisk you, amigo. Man, if you wanna pass, I need to look through your pockets. There's no two ways about it. You like that spice stuff, senor? Like Bond and Mission Impossible. No, you do. Everybody loves that shit. Okay, let's go, let's go, parcero, mueva así. Something over there down this
Trumpet Nier. Franco, todas las mujeres, fans y Pokémon Processing Machine. One word. Fancy Machine, my ass. It's a giant love of metal inside of shit. Either way, the box is gone. Shit. What is it? I think you're right. I'm right on it. their faces with drugs and alcohol. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with stuffing their face with drugs and alcohol. Go! Go! No problem. Question. I'm serious. I get real jumpy when it comes to strange noises. I, I can't promise I won't blow your face off.
That is Jorge Franco, the Delgado cartel's chief chemist. Are they running some sort of stupidity competition here? If so, everyone is a winner. strain looks to be able to handle itself, despite the bumping efforts of the humans to take care of. I heard from my uncle who lives in Bogota that white stallion is making it clean, practically destroying the entire competition. That was a genius. The stuff on the street now isn't even a real deal. It's the diluted version. I think the wealthy will get gathered on it. I'll go and lost castles. I'm afraid it will blow a hole in the U.S. economy. Let us flood the whole southeastern section of the U.S. in a matter of weeks. The Gallo will become the biggest in all of the Americas, but bigger than most. Franco, your machine is finally up and running. Come by and have a look at it when you have a moment. Ah, look at that. It runs again. Look at how smoothly it's running. It's going to change everything. Everything. We are suddenly overcome with uh, joy. See? This is what happens when focus is applied alongside proper work ethics. This is the future, people. Well, why are they still standing here? Surely they can see the machine is working perfectly now. We have no need for them anymore. They are excused to go back home to their sad little lives in the village. That is all, guard. Please escort these people from the room. We want to be alone in here. All right, everyone. Follow me. the cartel. Excellent work, 47. Now head for an exit. Oh my god! Sounds really bad. What's that? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm still looking. Out the way, out the way, keep out the way. Yeah, no worries. Hey, come on out. 
You're only digging yourself into a hole here. Assignment successful. Tactical targets neutralized. Militia transport network disabled. Location of primary target unknown. Team chasing several leads. End message, encrypt and send. source checks out. We can prove the board knew about the chemical leaks. We'll have grounds for a retrial. It won't make a difference. They're too powerful. They're not the devil, Nancy. Just the company. They're not above the law, don't you see? This is bigger than James. Those bastards killed 80 people. And they got away with it. Think about what that means. No one's untouchable. No one's untouchable. Diana! Coming! We got what we came for. Move out. 